Good morning, Periscope. Good afternoon, Periscope. Good day, Periscope. This is Holly Duckworth, and I am grateful to have the opportunity to broadcast with you live today from my home office here in beautiful Colorado. So, how was your day yesterday? I have a great question for you today as we talk about co-creating clear vision and higher profits. So my question for you today is, how often are you getting up, going to work, and doing it all on autopilot? In fact, are you even on autopilot today? It's an important question that we need to think about as we become more authentic, more vulnerable, and more profitable in the work that we do uh, as we recognize that we co-create our life with a power and a force greater than we are. So I always like to start the show with that question. Today's question is, are you on autopilot? What are some of the techniques and strategies that you can utilize to get off of autopilot? Um, I like to use things like prayer, meditations, affirmations, um, conscious breathing through the work that I do each day, and recognizing that sometimes we just got to take a minute out and go for a walk. Yesterday, on yesterday's show, we talked about the difference between spirituality and the difference between that spirituality and consciousness. I got a lot of great questions uh, from that show, and I wanted to share with you uh, one of those thoughts. And the difference for me is often the idea of are you working from simply your head power or are you working from your heart power? And as we step into being more conscious or spiritual in business, I think we need to become more mindful when we go to work each day. Are we coming just with our heads, just with our hearts, or really truly connecting to a divine power that's greater to us? And from that universal truth, doing the work that we do each day. Um, on the show yesterday, I was also reminded that I am in the process of participating in a really great program that gets us out of autopilot each day. And that program is called 31 Days of Kindness. So if you need just a little thing to do each day to shake you out of your autopilot and you can't just change your route driving to work or switch up your office, uh, change your meeting dates, I would like to invite you to be a part of this with me. It's called hashtag 31 days of kindness. It's being hosted by my friends Ryan and Chelsea Avery. We're on day five, but you could certainly join us today. Uh, each and every day they've dedicated one little activity that we can do to shift our consciousness in our daily lives and in our work lives. So what I'm doing is I'm taking each one of their 31 tips and doing them specifically at work. Uh, yesterday was day four, and on day four we are invited to shift our consciousness, get out of autopilot by buying somebody a cup of coffee. So I did this yesterday. Just taking five minutes out, go buy somebody a cup of coffee, sit down and have a short chat with them. You can get out of autopilot, connect to somebody's hearts. Why, why do you do the work that you do? What are you doing? And certainly brighten their day just a little bit. Today is day five on the... Uh, Fifth, uh, on the 31 days of kindness and I'm excited about today's because it's a little bit more of a challenge at work. Their challenge today to get us out of autopilot as I'm calling it is to give a hug. Give someone a hug. If you're going to be more authentic in the workplace we need to love our coworkers, and I know that can be a very hard thing to do. There's some days I really don't enjoy having to go to work and tell a coworker something really hard or a colleague, we're not going to do a project in a specific way. But 31 days of kindness, as I challenge myself to get out of autopilot, I'm going to do this, this hug activity in the workplace today. And obviously, we want to get permission. I don't want the HR people freaking out on me. Oh my God, you can't hug your coworkers. But find a way to connect to your coworkers in a different way. Maybe it's not a hug. Maybe it's just simply touching a shoulder, but giving them an energetic feel that the work that they do is important. It'll get you out of autopilot, starting to think about your relations and your connections to your coworkers and give you an opportunity to really live these principles of universal truth and connection in the workplace. On Periscope, you know how it goes. I like to share uh, my daily meditations or my affirmations with you. And today it's coming from another great quote. I uh, found this quote this morning. I think it's perfect for us today. It is from the Science of Mind textbook by Ernest Holmes. 
another great quote by this man, and it says, Let us feel that our purposes are animated and inspired from on high. And then let us go forth and make our dream come true in the human experience. That is the essence of life. That is the essence of the work that we do. Really getting clear on what inspires you, what calls you forth to do the work that you do, because life is too short, and we just don't know when our time might end. So as you do the work you do, be inspired by this Ernest Holmes quote. Find that thing that's just a little out of your reach, that comes from your heart and your mind and says, I have the solution to that. I can make a difference in this. And go forth and make that dream come true. If you are inspired by this idea of spirit at work and authenticity at work, I want you to be a part of my change revolution. And I want to invite you to participate. First, visit my uh, Facebook page. Have the opportunity to, to give me a like there. Um, join me on LinkedIn. Um, call me for a short 10-minute consulting on some project that is on your heart. I'd be happy to, to chat with you. And sign up for my monthly, monthly newsletter. I wrote the column yesterday. It's more on building a world that works for everyone. We'd love to make sure that you get that next week when our monthly newsletter comes out. Send me your questions on this topic or other ones so we can talk on a future show. Until then, love and light. I'll see you tomorrow.